Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about this broken wall I build thanks to one of the new fragments which you can get right now that the raid has been completed from Ikora. You just go there and you go into the fragment section, buy them all for 25,000 glimmer each and then meditate and pray and you will get access to all of the fragments. However, the one we are looking at is Echo of Instability. Defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to your void weapons. So you don't need the perk to pick up a well to get volatile rounds. You kill someone with a grenade and you get volatile instantly. So why is this important? Because for Warlock, you can basically have unlimited grenades, um, which give you a whole bunch of other benefits with void wells and stuff as well. So use whichever Nova Bomb you want, obviously. I use Axial Bolts because this is a guaranteed hit if you are close enough to enemies, which means that you'll get your grenade back quicker because of the, um, the exotics that we're going to talk about. We have Feed the Void for Devour, so you're getting your health, and the more you kill, the more Devour you get, and you're going to be killing a lot of people with volatile rounds. Um, Chaos Accelerant, it creates an additional Seeker, so you're going to have more chance of hitting more enemies, giving you more grenade energy, and getting your grenade back pretty much instantly. I'm using Empowering Rift. To be honest, I don't use it as often as I should because I'm just too busy running around. Um, it's totally up to you what you use here, but obviously Empowering Rift gives you more damage. The other fragments we have the echo of expulsion so that people explode when you use uh, void stuff and then obviously echo of instability and echo of exchange melee final blows grant grenade grenade energy so for any single reason you don't get your grenade back straight away you can just melee someone and get a big chunk of grenade back the weapons that i'm using are peace of mind that's just my personal preference you want to void weapon somewhere on you to use funnel web subsistence adrenaline junkie pretty damn amazing especially when you kill someone with a grenade you get adrenaline junkie times five straight away you're ripping through people with all the extra buffs and yeah it's just it's unbelievable and then i just use gadahorn because you know gadahorn let's look at what is up on the mud so you want elemental ordinance defeating a combatant with a grenade spawns an elemental well type now that you're getting volatile rounds off grenades this is going to be even more important you can grenade someone the well will spawn the well you pick up will give you a whole bunch of other uh, buffs i also have void siphon rapid void weapons final blows create an orb of power using a funnel web this is going to happen quite a lot and then i've just got rapid weapon final blows with damage matching your subclass type create an orb of power just you know just just for an extra chance at more orbs you could probably throw something kind of like you know the psionic forging perks if you, if that's what you like but for the most part i just use these then we have controverse holds resist incoming damage while charging your void grenade charged void grenades return grenade energy on a hit this is why i use axion bolts because you're guaranteed to hit at least two people usually three people and if you have it all set up right you can hit four people with axia bolt giving you pretty much your entire grenade back straight away bolstering detonation grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade like i said we're going to be grenading all over the place you get your rift back whether you want it to be healing or empowering reaping wellmaker after activating your class ability your next weapon final blow spawns a void elemental well probably don't need this now like we have so much well stuff being thrown into the mix you probably don't need this but however what else are you going to put on really realistically i just use this um it just it just feels natural to be put into the setup then on the chest piece i have got you know rocket scavenger for my galahorn you can go with firma shot plating if you're playing like higher level stuff i've thrown void resistance on there just because again there's not much else to put on there well of tenacity picking up a void elemental well reduces the damage you take from combatants so when you're picking up that well that you've generated with your grenade you're going to get a good defensive boost as well then on the boots we have um this thing here there we go absolution reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an orb of power so with those siphon mods when you're ripping through people with a void weapon and creating orbs of power when you pick them up you're going to be getting more of your ability cooldown across the board I got Rocket Launcher Scavenger on because it's one energy. And then Font of Might. Picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type grants a temporary bonus to weapon damage of that same elemental type. So you're generating orbs with your grenade. You're getting volatile rounds straight off the bat. You're also getting Font of Might, which causes you to do more damage with that weapon. And on top of that, you're getting defensive buffs too. It's unreal how much stuff you can get out of like just this one little build and then we have the well of utility um you get additional class ability energy when you're picking up wells as well so you get your empowering rift back 
as quick as possible. Distribution re reduces all ability cooldowns when you're using your class ability near targets. Perpetuation reduces class ability cooldown when using your class ability. You're going to be popping your Empowering Rift in a whole bunch of enemies, so this should be boosting up all your ability cooldowns as well. If you end up with no grenade for more than five seconds, I would be absolutely amazed. You know, a lot of people say not to use Controverse Holds and use uh, Nezerak Sin, which obviously the more Void Kills you get, it increases your ability regen, which would work with this build. But I just find Controverse Holds to just be a constant grenade spam, getting volatile rounds, getting all the wells, getting all the buffs, getting all the defensive buffs. It's just an unbelievable build. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. I've already posted this up once before with this infinite grenade, but this is slightly just better and improved, especially with this new fragment. And just, you know, just so you know, the other fragments are fine. They're, not, they're, nothing, they're nothing great. They're just, they're just fine. We have one with picking up an orb of power, Grant's Devour. I think that's probably across all subclasses, so that's going to be pretty useful for someone who isn't a Warlock. Um, and then we have Echo of Obscurity, finish your final blows, grant invisibility. That's pretty cool too. Um, defeating weakened targets with precision final blows will create an orb of power. I don't feel like anyone's ever going to use that, to be honest. And then we have the Volatile Rounds one. So, you know, there's a few more builds that can be made, but this one, in my opinion, is absolutely phenomenal and broken for Warlocks in day-to-day -day play. Potentially even end-game stuff if you've got enough wells flying around. <laughs> you know, this is unbelievable. Let me know again down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.